and I was ready to move. I was like, new changes, new things coming, let's go. And they didn't know, like nobody really knew what was happening. The professor would record herself doing whatever that we needed to do, and then she would upload that to YouTube, and then we would watch that and learn. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a new way to start the intro so like not every single time it's the same. I don't know what to say. So welcome to a new video. For today's video, by the title, see I just feel like it sounds too repetitive. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we will be talking about my experience. Give that thought. We will be talking about how I got accepted into fit. I'm here in Los Angeles. Basically how my experience was since I went literally during COVID and how that was for me, how it worked. All the deets, all the tea. Not all the tea. I'm not gonna really talk about my experience, like what I think of FITM. If you guys want me to talk about how if I felt it was worth it, what I learned, all that nitty gritty details, let me know when I can make a separate video. This is just more about what I went through during that time. And yeah guys, without further ado, let's get it. Okay, so basically, when I had applied, it was, I believe, right before COVID started. I had applied and then I found out that I got accepted. And I was ready to move. I was like, new changes, new things coming, let's go. But, <laughs> Then, when I had got accepted, they told me that they were thinking about closing the schools down. So, I was like, hmm, I don't know. And they didn't know, like nobody really knew what was happening because it wasn't announced if the schools were gonna stay closed or open or what was gonna happen. But basically, what ended up happening is they did close down the schools. So then everything went online. And it was my choice to decide whether I still wanted to attend or just wait until the schools reopened. But for me personally, during that time specifically, I had already taken a two-year break since I graduated from my last college. So I was ready, like I was ready to learn. I was ready to just do something else. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. That is when my journey began with online learning. <laughs> now I have done online schooling before and I liked it, especially because some classes are just better when you can just watch them through Zoom. You don't have to drive to the school. It saves so much time, it's convenient. But for the degree that's revolved around creativity and hands-on, guys, I was in. I was in for a pleasant surprise. <laughs> a quick little background on my degree. I ended up graduating with a bachelor's in creative studies with a core in fashion design. Now that probably, you probably, that might not even make sense to you. But basically it was a creative degree with all my classes focused on mainly fashion design. So there was lots of hands on. So I only had one sewing class my two years. And I had to learn through YouTube, basically, but also through Zoom. My professor would record herself doing whatever that we needed to do and then she would upload that to YouTube and then we would watch that and learn. She also did like in-class sessions where she would show live on Zoom how to do something, but most of it was on YouTube. So that was just already a lot. I know a lot of people already learn how to sew on YouTube. I don't mind learning through YouTube or anything, but when I thought about going to school, I really thought about hands-on, like someone helping me. So yeah, basically pattern drafting, sewing, draping, all those hands-on classes, I learned through YouTube videos and Zoom live sessions. And it was very hard to see. The quality wasn't always great. It was a learning curve for us and the professors because they had to learn how to record, how to go live, how to make sure that the quality was good. It was a lot on their end so that we could get the best quality on our end. And they did an amazing job. There was, of course, some ups and downs, some technical difficulties, but overall, it got the job done, we learned it all, and it was a fun experience. It was overwhelming and stressful, but it was also fun. So that's the first part on just what my classes were like and how I learned. Let's talk about my homework, like how I did my homework, how that had to be done, because for my degree, I did have to sew things, show the professor, drape things, show them, draft, and show them. So it was, I had to do a lot of physical work, and then I had to show them my work, 
so they can give me feedback. So what we had to do is we had to take pictures of every single detail, okay guys? My camera roll, holy moly, literally my entire camera roll was just my homework. <laughs> so we had to take pictures of it and send it to our teachers. A lot of the times, it was like 20 plus photos, guys. It was a lot of photos. We all had to become photographers at this point because if the quality wasn't good, the teacher couldn't grade us. So you just had to make sure that you had the best lighting, the best everything. So how did it work with equipment? FITM has all the equipment, all the industrial sewing machines, the pattern tables, the irons, the dress forms, they have everything. But FITM wasn't at my house, so we had to buy everything. I had to buy a dress form, I had to buy a home sewing machine. And that was one thing that still kind of bit me on my butt cheeks was that I did not learn how to sew on an industrial machine my last two quarters there i definitely could have learned but i didn't have any more sewing classes by then and i had like one maybe that involved a little bit of sewing but we couldn't really stay in the room that long unless the professor was there so that was one thing that i guess i wouldn't say negative but like like a downfall a downside to that so i really wanted to learn the industrial but yes i had to buy all the materials it was the school materials plus materials that they wouldn't provide okay now let's talk about classmates and the college experience basically how i met friends so obviously it was all on zoom i didn't really make any friends i made maybe like one or two that i actually kept talking to once i went to school in person which was the very very last two semesters of my schooling that i ended up attending in person but that's not for this video <laughs> My classes were about 7 to 8, maybe 10, 12 kids, but most of them were about 8 kids, you know, and a lot of the classes were in the morning, so we were, everybody was just groggy, everybody was like, <laughs> it was just funny, but since we weren't able to be in person, having a camera on was in some classes mandatory, which I understand, you know, to make sure that you're there and that you're not sleeping, but unfortunately, since I wasn't going to school, to my classes, being able to hang out on campus, I didn't really get to meet many people and have that sort of, I guess, lively, people-oriented experience, you know? It was more like we were on Zoom once we got off of there. I would text them if we needed help or they would text me, but it wasn't like, hey, let's hang out because everybody lived in a different part of the US or of the world, honestly. That was probably one of the coolest things. There was people just everywhere from all parts of the world. So they had to adjust to the time zones. It was literally like two in the morning in their time and it was super early in our time and they were trying to stay awake and I was like, kudos to you guys, cause that's crazy. <laughs> but no worries, it was still so much fun. I still enjoyed it. And it definitely tested my patience and gave me a lot of self-discipline. I learned so many things that I probably wouldn't have learned if I went in person. Okay guys, well that's really all I have for this video. Very short story time on what it was like for me getting accepted and attending school during COVID. Thinking back at it now, it was so crazy that all that happened, but I'm here and I'm grateful. So thank you guys for being here, for watching this video, for listening to my story time. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.